When we have a number written like this, we say the number is written in exponential form. Before we see what that means, we're just going to get our terminology right. In other words, the words we use right. So the words we use in this case are exponent, base, and power. Let's see what each of these are. The exponent is this little number, 4. The base is the 3. And we call the whole thing a power. All right, more important than those words, though, is what they actually mean. If we have a power, 3 to the 4, written like that, what it means is we take that base 3 and we multiply it by itself 4 times. In other words, 3 to the exponent 4 means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And we can work out what that is actually equal to by simply going like this. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27, times another 3 is 81. And so 3 to the power 4 is equal to 81. Okay, let's see if you've got this exponential notation sorted for yourself. I want you to open your homework books, and in there I first want you to write this 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 in exponential form. I don't need you to work out what the answer is. I just want you to write it in exponential form. And then I want you to take the 2 to the power of 3 and I want you to write it out in expanded form and then tell me what it's actually equal to. Pause the video and try those both now. Okay. So what we see here with the fours is we've got one, two, three, four, five fours all multiplied together. We have got four to the power of five. And what does two cubed mean or two to the power of three? It's two times two times two. Two times two is four times two is eight. And we get the answer. Two cubed is equal to eight. Okay, so once you've got the hang of exponential notation, we can then combine it with anything we want. So we could, for example, ask you what's 10 squared minus 9 squared. And that really just means we want to say what's 10 times 10 minus 9 times 9. Well, 10 times 10, you know, is 100. 9 times 9 is 81. And 100 minus 81 is 19, right? All sorts of calculations. Once you know what that exponential notation means, it's very easy. You will be working quite a lot with the squares, which is just anything to the power of 2, and cubes, which is anything to the power of 3. So these are the cubes and these squares this year. And in particular, it's actually quite useful if you know these ones, um, any of the squares between 1 and 12, and any of the cubes between 1 and 6, if you know them almost like off by heart. I mean, obviously you can work any of them out, right? So if I ask you what's 1 squared, it's not a mystery, right? 1 squared just means 1 times 1, which is 1, right? Or if I ask you what is 4 cubed, that is just 4 times 4 times 4, and you can work it out. 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. But let me just tell you that it will actually help if you can automatically recognize them as such. So in other words, the minute you see like 144, you know that immediately it's 12 squared. And you see 36, you know it's 6 squared. You see 216, you know it's 6 cubed. So these lists here are actually quite useful just to know immediately. You'll find it helps quite a bit. So I suggest if you don't already have them written down somewhere, you write them down um, just so that you can start learning them and make sure that they are numbers that are you can recognize instantly.